All right, what do we have here? Hello and welcome back, my Royal Rogues. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Royal Rogue, and we are back on this. What the Hollywood Reporter has this, uh, let's say, um, report on why Hollywood keeps quitting on Harry and Meghan, and it was. This was very painful to read, not because I care about Harry and Meghan, but I care about the people who must have worked so hard to please the Duchess and please uh, Gingerbread, because Gingerbread tries to please his wife, of course. And this is a great example of how many people have just jumped ship, uh, ship since, uh, well, since the start, since uh, the first uh, Maxed uh, reports. I'm going to read along a, a bit uh, over this and have a solid commentary of what, what had less led us to this point. Josh Kettler, the Santa Barbara-based consultant who had been serving as chief of staff, we know, um, Resign after three months of the job, become the latest member of the ever-expanding Sussex Survivors Club. Before Kettler, there was Toya Holness, who was their global press secretary until 2022, and Christine Will Shermer, the one-time Pinterest communications director, who quit as Harry and Meghan's PR head in 2021. I mean, one thing that is important to notice is that this these people were not amateurs. These people were actual professionals that they had solid experience in many industries and knew their stuff. This is this is not like, oh, I didn't know the demand. That happens a lot of, in Hollywood. I, 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 I like documentaries about movies, and you see it all the time. But you see there's uh, directors, for example, that they come from an indie uh, filming and they are thrown with a 100 million budget and they are overwhelmed by the sheer size of the project. That's one thing. But in, in this case, I see that they all these people came from very solid backgrounds and they landed at Archwell, which actually did not have that many projects. And if they did not have that many projects, why did they keep failing? That's, that's something that is food for thought. And my guess, my guess was at some point before reading this piece, is that people just left out of boredom. It's like you want to advance your career, but the way to advance your career is to have projects and wins. You're just not, not it's like, oh, okay, I'm going to be hired by this company. I want to make great projects, maybe to keep uh, uh, leveling up inside a company, or maybe I want to go to other um, uh, uh, to, to places uh, on other companies, have more experience. And for that, the only way to have that is through projects and completing the projects. If we don't have projects inside a company, then you cannot level up either in the company or have something to say if you leave the company. So that was my guess. It seems that I was half uh, right. Uh, the uh, da, 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 Samantha Cohen, Markle's top aide and private secretary, departed the same year. Earlier, there was Kelly Thomas Morgan, a Sunshine Sachs partner who started repping Megan when she was still a commoner. Well, a TV star on Suits, adding Harry to her client roster when they became engaged and then helping set them up uh, set up their own internal comms operation when the couple, couple moved to California. Again, there was people, very professional people, that had this, oh, this is an opportunity to be, to, to be part of a platform, of an international platform that will be so promising. And imagine all the networking, imagine all the connections that we will have after that. Sources, sources tell rambling reporter that Morgan stopped wrapping them around 2020. Other members of the uh, Sausage Survivors Club include Catherine Saint Laurent, who lasted a year as head of the Sausages charity Archwell, uh, Mandana Dajani, uh, Ben Browning, 
who got Harry and Meghan's documentary on Netflix before bolting for Film Nation. These were people who got things done. Why did, he qu did they quit? Well, there are the reports that it was because of Meghan's temper and humor and bossiness and 5 a.m. emails and shouting and yelling like this uh, recent recording of this uh, uh, affected parents because of uh, the kids uh, took their own lives. You know, the reports that she was yelling at the production team and we have all the uh, bullying allegations that, um, you know, that they were in the fold of the royal family. Why they all live? What explains the churn? Everyone's terrified of Meghan. There's, there are reports that four of them have signed for exclusive interview. But I don't know how could that happen because I'm sure that they signed NDAs. And violating an NDA means that Harry is going to go on another legal battle with some more people because, you know, that's his favorite pastime, it seems. It claims a source close to the couple. She belittles people. She doesn't take advice. They're both poor decision makers. They change their minds frequently. Harry is a very, very charming person. No heirs at all. But he's very much an enabler. And she's just terrible. I've told you many times. Maybe in this case, I, I remember that I made two videos about them being narcissists, but different kinds of narcissists. Like uh, Harry was more of a passive aggressive one. The only reason why he has done what he's done. And he has, oh, he, he's so nice. Why has he agreed to attack his family like he had? That doesn't make sense at all. That that just doesn't fit. You either are nice and you don't attack your family or you do all this. The opera interview, the book, the, um, the uh, British Empire 2.0, all that stuff or are like this. An actual narcissist, but more like a passive aggressive a dependent narcissist, and Megan is the grandiose one. I also said that Harry likes the attention. Harry, it is possible that he has grown into liking the attention that he 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 gets from being uh, in all this uh, drama all the time. She, he likes it at some point. What he doesn't like it is. Um, you know, the paparazzi runs and the working. You know, that Harry doesn't fancy working that much. And he doesn't have any skills that we know about besides, you know, uh, the bicycle. Could be one. Uh, polo playing. Harry is a polo player. Maybe, maybe he could strut those skills in that polo documentary. I give him that. In 2018, Markle's treatment of two royal aides prompted Buckingham Palace to investigate the then princess for bullying behavior. Then princess? She was a princess back then? Investigate the then princess for bullying behavior, uh, though the results of the inquiry were never released. Markle denounced the effort as a calculated smear campaign, but some of the couple's stateside staff members also reserved a special bail for Markle, whose Reported penchant for noisy tantrums and angry 5 a.m. emails has earned her the in-house moniker Duchess Difficult. She's absolutely relentless, says one source. See, she marches around like a dictator in high heels, fuming and barking orders. I've watched her reduce ground men to tears. I'm, I'm going to... Not going to continue. The, the rest you already know about this. You, you know uh, what is... What is the rest? We have the proof. Well, maybe not the proof. I cannot say that. I'm, I'm sure that I don't want to trigger my attorneys with this kind of statements. But there is enough proof that something bad is happening at Archwell. That that's why these professional people that have thrived in way more demanding uh, jobs in way more demanding industries, when they were tackling these huge projects, they are dropping like flies. They say, I'm, I'm jumping ship. I cannot stand this. So either we have the bullying reports that 
What are the words? Let me go back. Uh, she is just terrible. The reports that Meghan Markle is just terrible, as per The Hollywood Reporter. Not my words, they words. Or it's like they, uh, they say they are both um, poor decision makers. They change their minds frequently. Y you cannot have a solid project with that, uh, with that attitude. If, if you had your professional knowledge at the service of person who are all over the place, you can never have a project say, oh, I, 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 I did this at Archwell. And that is very bad because then months pass, years pass, and you're essentially stagnant. Because when in your next, if you leave Archwell, in your next interview, they're going to say, okay, what, what did you do at Archwell? Well, what are the projects that you managed to? And you will have nothing to say for it. And that is very bad. That is like having nothing in the resume. Okay, uh, you were working for Harvey and Meghan, but what did you do? And if the heads, Harvey and Meghan, have no idea what they are doing, you will not have any projects. And it's better that you jump out quickly. So... I think it's pretty much a mix of the two, but I would love to know what you think about this in the comments. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Royal Rogue. Much love and bliss.